Right, hello Year 9. Um, so today's video, very quickly, we're going to recap how to draw our electron fig configuration diagrams for atoms and then I'm going to show you how to turn them into ions. Okay, so as you will remember, um, every element is made up of an atom. Okay, and within that atom we've got protons, neutrons and electrons. To determine how many of each in the atom we look at the periodic table. So I'll just pull that over here and for today I'm just going to get us to look at an atom of sodium. Okay, so if I keep that to the side here we've got sodium whose chemical symbol is Na. Okay, and on the periodic table it's got a big number of 23 at the top and a little number of 11 at the bottom. If we look at the key on our periodic table, the small number at the bottom is the atomic or proton number, so that tells us the number of protons, and the big number at the top is the relative and atomic mass, which tells us the number of neutrons plus protons. So, for sodium, yeah, sodium, we've got 11 protons, we've got 23 minus 11 neutrons, which is equal to 12 neutrons, and then the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons in an atom, so we've got 11 electrons as well. Okay, so to draw our electron um, configuration diagram, we've got to follow these rules. Okay, so the first shell of electrons can have a maximum of two electrons. Okay, the second shell has a maximum of eight. The third shell has a maximum of eight and we must fill from the first shell outwards. So we've got 11 electrons in sodium. So let's take a look at how that's going to look. Just bear with me a second whilst I get another sheet of paper. Okay, so sodium then. We're just gonna put the chemical symbol in the middle first shell. The rule for the first shell is that it can have a maximum of two electrons, okay, and we're going to represent them with a cross, okay. So that's two taken out of the eleven, which leaves us with nine. Second shell, which is bigger, or energy level you can call it as well, can have a maximum of eight. So two plus eight is ten, so that's less than eleven. So we can just fill those in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that sodium has 10 electrons on it already, but we know that sodium has a total of electron, uh, 11 electrons, so we need to do another shell. Okay, and then, sorry, that's not great. And then that last electron there. Okay, so that is your electron configuration for sodium and the way you'd write the electron configuration, open brackets, 2, 8, 1. Okay, so what? there are a couple of things we know from this. So first off, that in order for sodium to take part in a reaction, the easiest thing for it to do is lose this electron, its outer shell electron. Okay, and the other thing we know is that because it has three shells of electrons, it must be in the third period. So, three shells means it's in third period. And one outer shell electron I'm just going to call it E minus, means it's in group one. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here and 
you can look at my next video to learn how we're going to turn this atom of sodium into an ion of sodium. See you next time.